All right, so what we got here is an example of a dynamic pair rig that has auto overlapping features, secondary motion, and uh, real time secondary motion, which I will show for you now. So, so right now what I'm going to show you is I'm moving around this uh, kind of chain that I made here uh, and rotating it, but we don't see much of anything. And even when I animate it right now, it doesn't do much of anything. Like that. Uh, and the reason is because we didn't turn on this auto overlap setting that I added to the base. Now, if I go back all the way to 1, and then I turn this on, we'll see some secondary motion. So now we should be seeing... I, this part is not animated, it is completely uh, generating this based off the movements that we brought here. Now the other thing is, I'm going to stop our animation right here so you can see it at 65. And right now I'm just going to keep rotating this, and if you'll notice, even in real time in our viewport, we can still see... Whoa. We can still see that our... Uh, tail here is showing off some uh, secondary motion. And the same thing if we uh, create some movement here. Okay, and that is an example of what you can do with dynamic hair follicle rigs.